want to start first of all is we're going to do four exercises and we'll do each one in 30 seconds. That's going to be our warm up. So our first one's going to be bum kickers. Now, bum kickers can be done by just holding on to the front of the chair like so, or can be done by standing up and just kicking yourself in the back side. Move out for 30 seconds. And we really flip those heels up. Right in the old derriere. Good. And then from there, let's take some hip circles. So we're going to take some heart circles with the hips. Getting the whole body moving, just warming it up. Get rid of those creaks and those cracks of the body. Get the way. Perfect. So, if you're chair based, then all you're going to want to do is alternate arm and leg for the 30 seconds, which are going to warm up by doing some sit to stands. Sit down on the chair. Great exercise. Gets you nice and warmed up. If you feel this isn't really a warm up, you feel this is more the actual exercise itself, then I just do the alternate arm or hand to me. There we go, perfect. So let's go into a march on the spot. If you feel a little bit fitter, you're more than welcome to break that into a light jog. If you're chair based, what you can do is you can just step out. Remember, all the exercises can be done on the chair the whole time. Let's start off with some arm swings, keep those feet marching. Remember, you can stay sat on the chair the whole time. This is really good for loosening off your chest and back. There we go. And then just finish off with some rotations. Interlock the hands. And all you're then going to do is remember the golf foot swing. So if you look at my ankles at the bottom, I'm just twisting the feet at the bottom. Give it a little bit of rotation. Let's start to get the pace up now. We're going to start the march on the spot. Get those arms out in front. Get those circles, the shoulders going. Oil everything up, remember. We've been stiff. We may be, we may have had a walk this morning, we might have not. But what we're trying to do is just get the whole body just moving if you can. Finish off a few big circles of the arms. A few big circles of the way. There we go. Okay, let's go for the workout. So your first exercise you're going to do is your march and shoulder press. We're going to do 10 reps of that. So you need tins of beans or bottles of water or move your hands if you don't want to use weight. Literally 10 reps of this. You can do that sat in the chair if you want to. Once we've done that, we're then going to do our sit stands. So you're going to sit down in the chair and you're going to stand up. All right. What you can do is if you don't want to do the sit stands, you could do just alternate arm and knee and two moves to the next exercise. Now, last week we did burpees, this week we're doing mountains, all right? If you don't want to do mountains, you can just march 
on the spot, but your mountains are on the chair and your feet are going to be out. Make sure your chair is against something sturdy. The last thing I want to do is I don't want the chair to slide up from underneath them and I don't want to hurt themselves, okay? So make sure the chair is up against the wall, nice and sturdy, it's not going to slip out. And all you're then going to do, you're going to touch the front like so. And what you're going to do, you're going to do 10. on each leg on this. If you can't manage turning each leg, do not panic. After that, we've then got marches, or what you're gonna do is elbow to knee for 10. So elbow to knee for 10. Again, if your balance isn't great, just hold onto the side and you just do knee lifts. It's always something different to do. The last thing I want you to do in an open area, do elbow to knee, trip over, fall over and hurt yourself. It's about listening to your body. So I'll give you different exercises. It's your choice if you want to do them. Listen to your body. Finish off with that, we're going to do bum, bum flicks. So bum flicks are literally just there. 20 reps, okay? 10 on each side. Then we're going to do exactly the same down to nine on each side, eight on each side, seven on each side, six on each side, five on each side, four, three, two, one, and then we are done. So your first exercise is your marching shoulder presses. So three, two, one, let's go. 10 reps. And 10, there we go. Right. After that, we're gonna do our 10 sit stands. Take your time, make sure your shoulders and feet move apart, or sorry, your feet move apart, your shoulders, and we'll go down. And our last one, make it number 10. There we go, that's 10 complete. Right, from there, we're gonna do our mountain climbers. So remember, either march in, if you feel confident doing this, or knee in a plank position, and you're just gonna tap. One. That's halfway, you're welcome to stop there if you wish to. I'm gonna keep going through to the 20. It's a really hard exercise, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Right, on a few seconds. Then what we're gonna do is elbow to knee. We're gonna go for 20, one, two, three, four, you don't need to rush for it. Eight, nine, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Last one, twenty. Perfect. Now use the mantle piece if you need to. We're going to use twenty bum flex. Halfway. And that's 20. That is your first round complete. So that's 10 reps done. We're now going to do nine and gently chip away at them. If you need a drink to break, you're more than welcome to have one. Otherwise, we'll go straight in. Dumbbells like so, and we're up and down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Move on to our sit stands. Remember, you can do it all in the chair. You don't need to stand up if you don't want to. Let's go for a nine.
eight, and nine. Now this one you can do your marching or your chair climbers. We've got 18 now, okay? So bring it in. Halfway. I'll turn elbow to knee, and go for it. Halfway. And 18. Bum kickers we're going for. Good. That's your round of nine rounds done. We're now going to do eight rounds and gradually drop it down. If you need a drink, grab yourself a drink if you need one. Otherwise, we'll get the weights. And we'll go for eight rounds. We're doing really good at home. So let's get eight rounds. And eight. Good. Right, we'll go for our sit stands. Off we go. And let's go for eight. Seven, last one. And eight. Perfect. Let's go for our mountain climbers. Remember, you can march if you don't want to do mountain climbers. They're quite tough. Make sure the chair's sturdy. And let's go. One. Keep that bum down. Two. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, last one, and 16. Good, right, let's move on to our knee to elbows. Take a breather, everyone, don't rush it, and let's go. So remember, I'm doing these ones, however, you can just literally be lifting here. Four, five, six. Get that knee as high as you can, hold on to something if you need to. 15 and 16. Into our bum kickers. Remember, you can speed up if you want to, do a few more reps. You don't need to go at my pace. I'm just making sure that everyone gets a good workout. We're halfway. And 16. Good stuff. Right. Round seven now, we're going to do seven over everything. Again, if you need to, grab yourself a quick drink, otherwise we'll go on to sevens, march on the spot, and we'll do for a seven. Five, six, and seven. Good stuff. Right, we'll go for our sit stands. As you can see, the workouts get a little bit easier as the time goes on. But because we're working out, we're keeping our heart rate up, we're keeping moving. We don't need to keep up the reps. It's been number four. And seven. So now these exercises, we're gonna do seven on each side if we can. 14 in total, let's go for our mountain climbers.
9, 10, 11, 13, and 14. So I'll turn an elbow to knee or a knee lifts. Use the chair if you need to or the wolf balance. Get that knee nice high set. Thirteen and fourteen. Into our bum kickers. Ready? Let's go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. There are your seven rounds. So now what we're going to do is go from we're on our sixth round. Okay, six for everything. Grab the dumbbells. If you need a drink, that's fine. Let's go for our six. Two, three, four, five, last one, and number six. Great. Let's go for our six stands. Stuff everyone. Now let's go for the mountain climbers. Go for our six, which means 12 each side. Turn them in the end. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. One more each side. Good stuff. Right, let's go for our alternate knee or our knee lifts. So remember, you can hold it if you need to. Let's go for our 12. Five, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Into our bunk because Now on to the five different things. So if you need a drink, grab one, have a few seconds. If you want to keep moving, just keep marks on the spot, everyone. I want to make sure that everyone gets a great workout unless you're doing great back at home. We are working our way down the ladder. The end is near. So let's grab those dumbbells. And let's give our shoulders. Ready? Five reps. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Sit the stands. Go for our five. Make sure the chair's nice and sturdy. And we'll go. If you feel like you've got enough sit to stands, that's fine. If you're finding sit to stands a bit easy, you can do squats instead. Three. Four. And we'll go last one. And five. Boom. Mountain climbers. Five on each side. Let's go. If you're feeling put this pull under our back, then just do the marching instead. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Knee to elbow or balancing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice high knees. Gets the, loop, the loops, the hoop, the hips loosened off. Let's go, bum kickers. And ten. Right, four of everything now. We're only the drinks break. We're going to just keep working for a chip away. So let's grab those dumbbells and we're going for four repetitions. One, three. And four. Let's go for our sit stands. Four repetitions and we're off. One. 
two, three. This is why I really like this workout. Four, as it goes on, you need to get to the end, it gets easier. Eight reps of mountain climbers. Five, six, seven, and eight. Have a little breather, shake the legs out. Let's do three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go for our bunker girls. Fit your heels up. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We're nearly there. Three reps that we're doing, everyone. Grab your dumbbells, grab your tins of beans. Let's go for it. You're doing great. One, two, three. I love this bit of the workout. Psychologically, it feels so much easier, even though we've done loads of reps today. One, two, and three, mountain climbers, six if you can, just march if you can't, two, three, four, five, and six, good stuff. Go right from there, alternate arm and knee, one, two, three, four, five, and six, remember if you feel unstable, use your wall for balance if you need to. Bunker girls. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two reps and everything. Let's go. One, and two. Always was pointless in even doing the reps, but I guarantee you, you've done a lot at the start. One, and two, four on those exercises. One, two, three, four. And then we're going for all these. I think all these squats we've done. One, two, three, and four. I can't even do the maths. <laughs> and let's go. One, two, three, four. Right, one other thing, and then we are El Complito. So, remember, shoulder presses. One rep. Won't need those again, let's put those down. Sit, stand. One rep. Won't need to do that again. Mountain climbers, two reps. One, two. Knee to elbows. One, two. Perfect. And bunker goes one, two, and they have it. That is your workout complete. Hope you enjoyed that ladder. If you found it too easy, then I may have done it a little bit slower than normal. You're more than welcome to lift heavier weight or do more reps to the ladder or do extra rounds. You can even stop at one and then get all the way back up that ladder if you felt that you wanted to. All right, let's have a nice little cool down just to get the body marching. So in total, squat wise, we did. We did ten. We did nine. We did nineteen. We did 27, would have been 10, 9, and 8, I think that's 27, yeah, 27 reps. Um, add a 7 on that, 34, add a 6 on that, 40, add a 5 on that, 45, 49, 52, 54, 55, I think we did. So that's 55 sit stands. I think that's right. Trying to get my little brain working. different way of working out. Hope you enjoyed that back home. A bit more challenging, just a bit different. Back stretch, remember the most important thing is that we get our heart rate and we keep it moving up, get our heart rate up and keep it moving for about 30 minutes. But you all did great, especially because it's a bit sunny outside. It's a little bit warmer today. And we're going to right arm across the body. Take it with that shoulder stretch. Change arms. Good 
Back the arm stretch. And change arms. Give those arms a good shake out. Shake it all about, in, out, in, out. Nice wide stance. Gonna bend that right knee, gonna lean across the side. We're gonna change sides. Then we're gonna go back to the thigh stretch. Gonna change legs. And then we'll go front of the thigh stretch, use the chair if you need to, so you place it in the other chair. And you go up like so, or like so, grab that leg. Change legs, are you ready? And then finish off with everyone, three nice big deep breaths, deeper thin, deeper felt, deeper thin, deeper felt, last one, and a nice big deeper felt. Give yourself a round of applause, the old virtual high five, and a good pound of back.